we'll be seeing on how do you use your azure pricing calculator right so when we go to the link we can see this is the link for pricing calculator so here when you click on this azure pricing calculator page it actually opens up this particular link for us so let me open it again as your rising calculator right so here what we should do we can see the list of all the services like we see it in your azure portal so let us just take a sample of a virtual machine okay and i need a sql database and what else i need i might actually need a <coughs> virtual network is fine and i need a bandwidth is fine and also i need a firewall for me okay so these are the basic examples now when i go down i can see the list of all the estimates given if you see the virtual network 100 gb into how much it is and this is going to be the monthly cost for virtual network and what is an ip address and this is going to be the cost of ip address <laughs> and what is a ddos protection and this is going to be the cost so okay if i see this ddos protection is very high then i don't need it All right so then the virtual machine comes in okay so i'm using a pay as you go model and then i'm using this os licensed one and this is going to be the final rate for my virtual machine per month and for the sql database i'm again using a pay as you go model and this is going to be the rate for my sql database All right so at the end what I'm going to see, I'm going to see the rate over here, which is per month, it might be around $5,489. So what I can do, I can have this option of saving, or I can even have an option of exporting. When I try to export it, I can see it as an Excel sheet. Okay. So in that way, what I can do, I can try to open it as an excel sheet and then i can show it to the people like this so this is my excel sheet and this will be my total cost per month so i can make this as an excel sheet or a pdf and then i can send it to my respective finance team or managers for their approvals right similarly depending upon your infrastructure you can choose whatever the services that you want and then the pricing calculator of azure will calculate the price and then it will give you a curve right so this is how you need to basically check it like how much will be the rate and cost for your pricing calculators and your azure resources per month and then you can decide your options accordingly right just try this and then let me know if you guys face any doubts until then thank you